To create an additional demand for its Su-57 fifth generation stealth fighter jet in the Middle East and South Asian region, the Russian Defense Ministry and the Shukhoi Design Bureau have decided that the export variant of Su-57 will also have a two-seat variant, which could be used to lower the psychological stress of inexperienced pilots. China is also developing twin-seat variant of its J-20 stealth fighter jet. And this twin-seat variation could also be used for electronic warfare, command of wingman drones and ground attack missions. Meanwhile, India's AMCA stealth fighter jet will be a single-seat twin-engine fighter jet with some sixth-generation characteristics, that will perform a multitude of missions including air superiority ground strike missions suppression of enemy air defenses and electronic warfare missions. Hindustan Aeronautics has resumed its production lines after the second lockdown, and apart from the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft and LCH program, there are reports that the Tejas Mark II program has also been affected due to the disruption of the supply chain ecosystem. HAL had started metal cutting for the Tejas Mark II program in February 2021, and with proper components from the supply chain, it was expected that the work on first Tejas Mark II aircraft will begin by October 2021, but it has now been delayed due to the second lockdown, due to which the rollout that was expected in August 2022 has now been delayed till early 2023. A number of supply chains have requested an extension for supplying components tools and machines that were meant for the Tejas Mark II program, and there is also a fear that the third wave will again disturb their plans. A HAL official has said that even if the Tejas Mark II rollout is delayed, the first flight will be conducted in 2023 as per schedule. Much of the major equipment for the Tejas Mark II program like engines, avionics and life support equipment is already in the country, while some of the indigenous systems like AESA radar and EW suite are currently under development, and the problem is only with the external supply chain that was supposed to supply components for the construction of the main airframe of the aircraft. Rolls-Royce had proposed refurbishing the engine of Jaguar Strike aircraft by replacing worn-out components with new replacements from the Ador 871 engines that is built by Hindustan Aeronautics for the Hawk trainers, and performance modeling also predicted that an additional 18% more thrust can be achieved during takeoff. If Rolls-Royce's proposal does not materialize, the 110 Jaguar fighters will start retiring by 2024, and all of them will be phased out by 2030, that will create a six-squadron gap in the Indian Air Force's combat fleet, which would cost more than $20 billion to fill. Fifteen Indian Navy officers have begun their training on MH-60 anti-submarine helicopters at Pensacola in Florida. Officials of the Indian Embassy in Washington and personnel from the Indian Navy will be handed the first two helicopters next month while the third helicopter will be delivered by the end of 2021, and a total of 24 MH-60 helicopters worth around 17,500 crore rupees will be delivered before February 2025. The Indian Army is looking to raise the procurement of 17 types of special clothing as well as mountaineering equipment, and the priority will be given to Indian manufacturers. The Army has projected an annual requirement of 90,000 sets of extreme cold weather clothing system and special sleeping bags, 3 lakh sets of 3-layered gloves, 5,000 avalanche airbags, summer suit for super high altitude area, multi-purpose boots and snow goggles. Oh,